Who are you? Who, who I am is not important. Is there something that we can help you with today? Are you here on business? How, how can you help me if I don't know who you are? You're going to trespass somebody and not even identify who you are. In a few minutes, That's ridiculous. Some gentlemen in some blue and white cars will be here. Great. And at that time, you will go with them. Let's see what the mayor's office has to say about your, your bullying. They're going to be calling me back right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we are at the City of Charlotte Government Building here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we just passed through the metal detector over here. Take a look around. This building is enormous. They seem to be doing some filming over here. The meeting chamber. They seem to be doing something over here. Some sort of interview, broadcast. Beautiful American flag. Let's go to the second floor. As soon as you get on the second floor, you will see our friendly reminder that they are always recording and watching us. Yet they always seem to have a big problem with us recording them. And they're their public servants. We're just trying to hold them accountable and promote transparency. September 11th, together we remember piece of the World Trade Center here. Office of the Governor. Governor Roy Cooper, State of North Carolina. He says his office is this way. I doubt it. Let's see. The Great Seal of the State of North Carolina. Office of the Governor. Appears to be vacant. The lights are off and no one's in there. All right, so here's a directory. We want to go to the city clerk. City clerk is on floor seven. They have a little touch screen over here. Please present security credentials. Hmm, let's try that again. Please present security credentials. All right, well, it doesn't seem like you can go anywhere without security credentials. So let's go see, because we got to see the city clerk. So let's go talk to the person we need to talk to. Good, how are you? I'm sorry? Why you were filming everything around here? Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, is there a reason? Oh yeah, sure, there is. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. Just getting some picture and video of the building. Okay. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. And you are? I'm Officer Cherry. Officer I'm Cherry? Security. security? Okay. And just want to know. I, I also have to do, I have to see the city clerk as well. Do you know how I'd go about doing that? I tried to take the elevator, but it says. You have to have credentials. Yeah, so how do I see the city clerk to do a FOIA request? You have to make an appointment in order to do that. Have you what? set up an appointment to see the city clerk? How do you set up an appointment? Uh, it's you, usually public records. You should be able to go into a public building and request public records. So even if I couldn't go down there, somebody should come down here and help me because yes. it's public records. Is there someone in particular that you're, you're trying to reach? Do you have their number? No, contact? that's what I'm saying. I just need public records for the city, and this is the okay. building that I would come to. So. Okay, well, what you need to do is talk to the gentleman right here. Okay. And they'd be glad to help you. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to do a uh, 
a Freedom of Information Act request? Have you filled out the public information form online? No. Yeah, no, I, I want to do it in person so I can get a copy back that they, they received it. I want to do it in person because I'm already here, number one. And number two, I like to get, I'm an independent journalist. I like to get the, um, like a stamped copy. I don't know if you can call down to the city clerk's office. There's something we can help you with today. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> great. Good to hear. Um, who are you? Who, who I am is not important. Is there something that we can help you with today? Are you here on business? How how can you help me if I don't know who you are? When are you here on business? I don't know who you are, sir. So okay. So are you here conducting business? I don't know who you are, so I don't know why I need okay, to tell well, you my business. Just go over here towards the exit for us. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna go back to conducting my business because you're not telling me who you are. You could be some stranger. You may exit. Here, here sir, you take this phone over there. You can call the city clerk's office yourself. Then you can request it from them. Hey, okay. relax. I'm, I'm conducting business here. You have to relax, de-escalate a little bit. Who I are you? Totally relaxed. So who are you? That's all and I'm asking you. Who I am you. is none of your business. How is it none of my business? Do you not work for the? Do you not work for the public? No, I do not. Well, you're contracted to work for the public. No, I am not. You're in a public building. Okay. Enforcing rules. Has he completed his business with yes, you guys? Yeah. Okay, no, we're I finished haven't. here. You don't tell me when my business is done, sir. I, I will say one more time. Go with us towards the exit. Sir, and I'm we'll bring in the folks that can do it. I'm conducting business, sir. I'm conducting business. Okay. Sir. Yeah. I need to know I need to know exactly who who I speak to as far as getting public records. Like I said, I'm a journalist. I'm working on a story. Yeah. You can go to the website so, and do your request or yeah, you can the, the thing is is that I, I like you I'm can listening. contact this phone number here for the city mm -hmm. clerk's office. And once you speak to them, you can request a time frame that you can come and get the records from them in person. Okay. So right. it, it, as far as, so there's no way, can you, there's no way of getting them? You can call them. Okay. Well, this man's threatening me, so I don't want to, he's should I call them? You. He's, he's threatening me. You to leave. Yeah, but I'm trying to conduct business. So I'm trying to call them right now. Right. So we provided you the phone number. So, but if I called them right now, mm -hmm. he's telling me I have to leave. If they tell you that you can come up and they send someone down, yeah, exactly. sure the gentleman wouldn't mind. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, exactly. That's all. I, you're I, not he's, communicating that with him. Um, he's, he's, I don't know who he is, first of all. I don't know who you are either. Uh, but the, I'm not coming up to him asking questions. I just want to conduct my business peacefully. I'm a journalist. This is what I do. That is his job. Sir, I just want to conduct my business so I can get out of here. I want to call the city clerk. Like this gentleman told me. Give you the phone number? Yeah, I'm calling there. right now. There you go. I'm calling. There's no reason for you to act that way, though, sir. If you want me to come down there, I can take I can take your request in person. But uh, I mean, I would no different. I would I would appreciate it, and if you could just bring down a form for me. Well, there's no form. I would be just taking notes, and then I would submit it into the. I mean, that that would be great. I would appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. So, sure, no problem. I'm just going to take a look at all these signs. So there seems to be a lot of activity over here. I don't know why. Can I get your name, sir? Right there. S. Martinez, security officer. Okay, are you, is somebody coming to get you? Correct. All right, well, how about going over into our waiting area until they arrive? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, bullying members of the public and, you know, journalists exercising their freedom of press right, trying to kick somebody out of a public building, sir, and not identifying yourself is not only unprofessional, but I'm, I would I'm really say... I'm interested in what you have to say. Okay. Please remove yourself over there to the waiting area. I'll wait. Okay? I'm waiting right here. 
I'm waiting. Hey, this is not a waiting area. Right Sir, you, how can you can how do you tell me where I can I cannot go in a public building? That is the waiting area. I understand that, sir. This I'm talking is. to you. This is a, this is America, freedom of speech, and I'm talking to you. And I'm not I'm not cursing at you or yelling at you. I'm trying to talk to you reasonably, sir. No, sir. You are not talking I, reasonably. I am talking to you reasonable reasonably. Reasonable people understand what is said to them. Reasonable people will and identify themselves to the member of the public that you serve, that you're here to serve. I don't serve the public. Okay. 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 Great. Now, you don't serve again, the public. This area right here is not the waiting area. Okay, sir. I don't, area. sir. I don't. You're just trying to be difficult, sir. That's all. You're, you're just trying to exert authority no. over me that you don't have. You don't serve the public, but you tell the public what to do. What and under what authority? I don't even know who you are. You haven't showed me any credentials. You haven't either. I don't need to, sir. I'm you not coming up you to you trying to tell you what to do. You were a member of the I am. Society. I am. I don't have to. Sh you haven't even told me who you are. Who? What are you a member of? I am. Are you just some random guy in, in a city hall trying to tell me what to do? Could be. Okay, great. I, now. I don't know who you are. In just a moment. You're going to trespass somebody and not even identify who you are. In a few minutes. That's ridiculous. Some gentlemen in some blue and white cars will be here. Great. And at that time, you will go with them. I'm waiting for the city clerk. Well, if they, they said that they were coming down because you won't go to the waiting area because I won't go to the waiting area. How are you doing today, sir? Good. Sorry, I just like to do this on a first a face to face for just to see how easy it is for somebody who didn't have, um, you know, access to the Internet or whatever the case may be that they wanted to come here and petition their government for records. Well, they could they could either fill out the form online if they didn't have the Internet, they could always call mm -hmm. and we can fill it out for them. OK. Okay, great. Yeah, I just, I want, the real reason I wanted you to come down here, sir, is because this gentleman over here was trying to tell me if I didn't leave immediately, I'd be arrested. So I wanted to make sure that I had some business here so that didn't happen. But my, my request is simple. I just want the, the first and last name. Okay. And uh, title and salary for all city employees. First and last name and title of all. Accurate. Correct. And I also want to know any security company that the the city of Charlotte contracts with. Specifically for this building. Contracts with specifically Charlotte's Perfect. Is that anything else? Or? That's it, sir. Okay. That's it. And so you could the go form, ahead. The form. Okay. So we don't have to ask your name. We, we we ask for your name and all that stuff. You don't have to give us your name. All you have to do is give us what you want, and then some way to contact you, some way to give you the materials. I can give you my email. It's a Long Island Audit at gmail dot com. That's correct. So, what's going to happen is, I'm going to put submit, and then that's going to go to my email box, and then when I get upstairs, I'm going to give you a, give you a, forward this, my, what I got to you, and then give you a number, so we have public records request numbers, so you can, we have a portal online, you can see the requests people make, so that number will correspond to your request. And then that way you have confirmation of it. And then when we have gathered the materials, we'll send them to your email address. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. Appreciate it. No problem. And your name was? Cheyenne Flutry. Cheyenne Flutry. Thank you, sir. Yep. Sir, can you give me the name? Can you give me the number to the uh, city manager's office? City manager's City manager's office. 704. Oh, one second. One second. 704. 336-2241. Thank you. Good afternoon, City of Charlotte Administration. How may I help you? Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing well. I'm, I could be better. I'm trying to figure out, is, are you 
does the city does the city manager's office have a policy against journalists taking pictures and videos in the publicly accessible lobby areas? Um, let me take a let me because I, I only say that because I only say that, ma'am, because I have a um, an unidentified individual here. Um, I believe he's with security. I'm not sure he hasn't identified himself to me, but he did tell me that because I'm taking p photos and video. I told him I'm a journalist taking pictures and video. He said that if I do not leave the building, I would be arrested for uh, criminal trespass. Okay. Can so, you hold for just one second? Yeah, I just wanted to get the uh, authority from the city uh, administrator's office. Okay. Sure, okay. one moment. No problem. We're going to see if you're allowed to bully people around like you just did. We're going to find out. Yes, you did. You can't just tell people to leave a public building. You can't. Is it's not closed. Obviously, how am I in it? How are and how are people eating over there in a cafe? Because the cafe is the building it's is still open. Building. It's the building is open, sir. I'm a journalist. I take pictures and video. This is a beautiful building that they have here. I'm allowed to do that. We have freedom of press in this country. Connect you to um, Jeremy Mills, who is a communications officer here at the city. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Hi, hi, Jeremy. Yes. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. How can I help? Um, so I entered into your the government building here in Charlotte, and um, okay. I was just taking some pictures in the publicly accessible areas, some video of the art and um, the historical, you know, artifacts you guys have hanging up. It's a beautiful building you have here. So I was doing that, and as I'm doing that, uh, a gentleman came up to me. I don't know who he is. He didn't identify himself to me. Still hasn't. Uh, he's in a suit. Um, I believe he's with security. Um, but he, he had told me that if I didn't... Yeah. He had told... I don't know who... He never identified himself as security. He's not wearing a uniform. And he never told me his name. Uh, but he did threaten to have me arrested for trespassing simply because I'm taking photos and videos in the lobby area. Is that something that the city admin, the the city manager office condones? Is that is there a policy for the building saying that you cannot record in publicly accessible areas and exercise your First Amendment right? I'm not sure what what the, I'll have to look into it and see. Um, let me let me get your name and number and I'll call you right back. Or ever, okay. Have I worked with you before? Are you part of the media? No, no, I'm I'm out of state. We've never worked together. I just I'm just taking pictures and videos of the. Uh, I'm from out of state. I'm actually from New York. I'm just taking some pictures and videos okay. of the lobby and all the publicly accessible areas uh, to share with my audience, okay. to disseminate to the public. And um, I, like I said, this gentleman is threatening to have me arrested with trespassing. So before that happens, I wanted to see what the stance of the city administrator's office is. Okay, I, I, work, I work for the mayor, so I don't work for the city council. Or for the, uh, okay. The manager, so let me, let me, but I can get the, the ball rolling. All right, thank let you, sir. Your, your cell phone number? Yeah. I'll have somebody call you very quickly. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Okay, Don't want to go to jail today for my rights. So, I appreciate it. I understand. <laughs> thank sure. you. Let's see what the mayor's office has to say about your, your bullying. They're going to be calling me back right now. You're a bully. That's what you are. For the world to see. Sir, could I just get the name of your security company? I'm just not. I just Charlotte. I, what is that? That's a long word. Charlotte. Mecklenburg Government Center. Mecklenburg. Okay. CMGC Security. Thank you. Hello. Hello, sir. This is Jeremy Mills calling from the city of Charlotte. How you doing? And Jeremy. Good. Good hey. to hear back from you. Yeah, so I've, I've uh, talked to a couple of people, and I've tried to work it out, and um, I, they should leave you alone now. Um, I can just tell you that, uh, that you were making them nervous because I think they have some objectives uh, that if somebody is, is shooting and trying to get the operations, security operations on film to determine how things are done, then that is considered a security risk. Okay. Uh, just, Jeremy, just, just to, make, just to, to let you know, I, I, there was nothing... I was recording that would deem a security risk. I was taking okay. video of the, you know, the, the, the photos and all the things you have on the second floor here. 
as far as from the different countries, Germany. Yeah, that's fine. You know, and I've told them, I said, well, I'm in, I never went into a restricted area or anything like that. Right. I, I'm not, I'm not causing a scene. You know, I just, uh, like I said, the, an unidentified security guard came up to me and said, what are you doing? While I was trying to speak to somebody and because I, he wouldn't identify himself, I didn't want to speak to him. He sure. was acting like a bully and I didn't okay. want to speak to him because he, he, it's per common courtesy to identify yourself to the member sure. of a public, especially when you're trying to kick them out of the building. And he just wouldn't. And then he said, I'm calling the police and the police are going to remove you. Okay. And that could lead, that could lead, that could lead the city to, to a civil litigation lawsuit. You know, if, if I would have stayed in the building, I would have got arrested because at the end of the day, the, the cops could have came, the police officers could have came and arrested me and for doing nothing. Well, I mean, they, they do have the legal authority to ask anyone to leave. And, and they can ask you one time, and then if you don't leave, you can be arrested for trespassing. We've had right. that issue with city council meetings and stuff like that, too. That is, that is actually within their legal purview. No, um, I, 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 don't I, believe, I don't believe it is. When not, not in a public lobby when, when you're engaging in a constitutionally protected activity, freedom of press, sir. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm just happy it didn't happen. That's all. Sure. And, and I've made sure it's not going to happen. So are you still there? Yes, I am still here. I was okay. just waiting for you okay. to give me so, a call. Um, how, how much longer do you intend to stay there? Not because much longer. Well, not much okay. longer. Okay. They're, they're gonna leave. They're gonna leave you alone. I, I said leave them alone. So if if anybody messes with you, this is my cell phone number. I just called you on. Please give me a call. Will do. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you. All right. Bye. I hope you were hope you were well educated today on the on the right of public photography and the freedom of press in this country, and this is that this is a public building. You can't just bully people. You should identify yourself to a member of the public when asked. And I hope when the hundreds of thousands of people see this video, that you will you don't you want me to show you? you? Think I'm joking? I hope that you friends and family will be very proud of you and not in your actions here today. Hopefully you learned your lesson today. You can't just bully people, not identify yourself, and threaten people with arrest. Your security, your job is to observe and report. That's it, nothing more. Take care. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the government center here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I would definitely say a fail and then a pass. The fail is by the security guard, unknown security guard, who wouldn't identify himself, tried to use his perceived authority to bully me and to criminally trespass me from a building and have me arrested my freedom taken away from me all because i was peacefully exercising my first amendment right ridiculous complete bully and i'm glad i got to expose his tyrant attitude to the world i wish he would have told me his name but i'll figure it out i'll contact the security company i'll figure out his name he needs to be exposed. He's a bully and a tyrant. He thinks he could just tell people what to do in public buildings, law-abiding citizens. Luckily, we were able to speak to the communications director for the city of Charlotte. He spoke with the um, mayor and uh, he was told to stand down. The communications director, Jeremy, the city clerk, Jeremy had told the security to stand down and allow me to conduct my constitutionally protected business it shouldn't have to come to that people should know not to violate law-abiding citizens rights why can't we just all treat each other with some professionalism some courtesy you know i don't understand why people have to escalate situations and and try and bully people and use their perceived authority i don't know but hopefully he learned something today hopefully when his friends and family see this video they're not too embarrassed by him, but um, I wish him nothing but the best. I have no hard feelings towards anybody. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.